Hello, Namaste. This is the story of uh, another one of my doodles. Uh, this is one which I was enormously pleased when uh, my uh, when my co-editors of this book, Blue Reverse, uh, agreed to put it on the cover of of the book. Um, and people have often asked me, what's the story behind it? I mean, why did I make a, a doodle of this kind? And basically, what I was trying to do was to depict the sort of uh, the the enormous diversity of life on Earth, the diversity of ecosystems. So we have we have forests and we have mountains and we have uh, the sea. The we have rivers, grasslands. Uh, we have uh, urban areas, uh, rural areas. So different kinds of human habitats. Also different kind of human activities. There's farming. There's uh, people going out into the sea, there's exploration, there's people playing music, there's people dancing. Um, there are, of course, wild animals. And here in particular, uh, my co-editors, Ariel Saleh and Alberto Acosta, they were very keen that I must put in something from Australia and from Latin America. So we have kangaroos and we have a koala bear and we have the condor. We also have, of course, animals and plants from Asia, Africa and uh, Europe. Um, apart from that, we, you know, this, this, this kind of depicts uh, different ways of, of being, of doing various different kinds of activities. It shows both people working individually, but also collectively, which is so very important. Now, um, overall, basically what the attempt here is to try and show what uh, a world of coexistence could look like, what a world in which humans and the rest of nature live peacefully with each other, in which hum different human beings live peacefully with each other, in which a diversity of ways of doing and being and dreaming and, and acting and uh, so on, both human and beyond human, uh, are able to coexist, or as the Zapatistas say, a world in which many different worlds uh, are able to coexist. Um, I know, of course, that the real world is very different. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of ecological devastation. There's a lot of uh, inequality and exploitation and discrimination and racism and patriarchy and so on and so forth. Um, but there is also a lot of solidarity. There is also a lot of being able to work together, being able to work collectively, being able to work with the rest of nature. Um, and so we, we have both of these. And there is really no harm. In fact, I think it is very important for us to dream of what an ideal world could look like and then actually come, come down to earth and say, okay, how do we get there? What are the ways of achieving that kind of a world of peace and harmony and coexistence? And that's actually what the book is about, a hundred examples from different parts of the world of both practice and worldviews and conceptual uh, frameworks of creating a world of peace and harmony. Uh, and that's really what I was trying to depict through this um, doodle. Um, which I recently colored, by the way, in COVID times, in lockdown, when I had nothing else to do. But the original, as you can see in the book, is black and white. So that's the story behind this. Uh, I hope you like it. Thank you.